Approximately 620 miles south of Tokyo, in the vast, desolate stretch of the Philippine Sea, something truly miraculous and terrifying is happening. While most geological news focuses on the destruction caused by the Earth's inner fire, today we are witnessing the opposite, the violent, spectacular birth of new land. Hidden beneath the waves of the Izubonin Trench, a new island is clawing its way toward the sky, reshaping the map of our world in real time. This is not just an eruption, it is the fundamental process of planetary creation. As we stand in late December 2025, the international scientific community is on maximum alert, not just for the seismic risks involved, but to document a geological event that hasn't been seen on this scale in decades. The last comparable event in this region occurred in 2013 with the emergence of Nishinoshima, which has since grown to over three square kilometers. The Izu Bonin Trench is one of the deepest and most active subduction zones on the Aimai planet. It is the exact meeting point where the massive Pacific Plate dives beneath the Philippine Sea Plate at a rate of approximately 3 inches per year. This constant slow-motion collision creates a zone of tectonic convergence that has been moulding the Mediterranean and Pacific landscapes for millions of years. As the Pacific Plate is forced deep into the Earth's mantle, it carries with it water and minerals that lower the melting point of the surrounding rock. This creates a gigantic cauldron of magma that never truly sleeps. For thousands of years, this magma has been stacking successive layers of lava and ash on the ocean floor. Today, those layers have finally reached the surface, breaking through over 1,000 feet of ocean water in a spectacular display of geological might. The first signs of this new world appeared on December 24, 2025. Hydrophones across the Pacific began registering a sudden intensification of volcanic tremors, the characteristic signal indicating rapid magma movement through underground conduits. Seismometers recorded swarms of micro-earthquakes with over 500 events in just six hours. By December 26, at 0956 Universal Time, the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology detected a massive breach in the sea surface. Steam plumes, reaching heights of 16,000 feet, began to billow from the ocean, creating a volcanic plume that forced authorities to raise the aviation code to orange. Beneath the steam, the ocean was literally boiling. Scientists detected lava jets reaching heights of 650 feet above the brand new crater rim. As the 1200 degree magma hits the seawater, it shatters into volcanic glass and ash, stacking higher and higher with every passing hour. The explosive interaction between lava and seawater, known as phreatomagmatic eruption, creates tephra particles that build the island's foundation with remarkable speed. The birth of an island is a violent struggle between fire and water. In the Izu Bonin Trench, this process is creating a landmass that is currently growing at a rate of several acres per day. This new mountain of fire represents the Earth's indomitable energy. Current estimates suggest the island has already reached 150 feet above sea level and spans approximately 800 feet in diameter. The speed of this escalation caught even experienced specialists by surprise. Normally, these deep-sea volcanoes show gradual signs of unrest over weeks or months. However, this transition from a submarine vent to an emerging island occurred in less than 72 hours. Satellite imagery now shows a solid black landmass emerging from the center of a turquoise-colored sea, surrounded by what scientists call discolored water, a cocktail of sulfur and volcanic minerals that indicates the volcano is still gasping for air. The discoloration extends for miles, creating a visible boundary between the volcanic zone and the pristine Pacific waters. While the birth of a new island is a wonder to behold, it brings with it extreme dangers. The most impressive phenomenon identified by researchers is the opening of a new vent in the upper portion of the emerging crater. 
This process, where magma under extreme pressure literally drills a new exit to the surface, can lead to massive structural collapses. Historical records show that similar collapses have generated tsunamis reaching heights of 30 feet. When a newly formed island collapses under its own weight into the deep trench, it can trigger a tsunami alert for 10 surrounding countries. Currently, ground deformation gauges are registering an expansion of approximately 80 nanostrains. In simple language, this means the new island is swelling like a balloon, being filled with fresh magma. If the pressure becomes too great, the flank could collapse, sending a wall of water across the Pacific. Emergency response teams in Japan, the Philippines and Guam remain on high alert, with evacuation plans ready for immediate implementation. For Rasta, the millions of people living on the Ring of Fire, the birth of this island is a matter of constant attention. While the new land is currently uninhabited, its proximity to major shipping lanes and coastal cities means that every seismic movement is tracked with millimetric precision. Advanced GPS stations and INSAR satellite technology provide real-time data on ground deformation, allowing scientists to predict potential hazards hours or even days in advance. Professor Boris Banker, an expert volcanologist with over 30 years of field experience, has been intensively documenting this sequence, highlighting the unique opportunity this offers scientists. Observing the birth of an island in real time allows researchers to collect data that will be valuable for improving forecasting systems and protecting communities living on the slopes of active volcanoes around the world. The information gathered here will help develop better early warning tools for future events and enhance our understanding of submarine volcanism. Islands born from fire are often fragile. Many vanish back into the sea within months as the waves erode the loose volcanic ash. However, if the eruption continues long enough to produce thick basaltic lava flows, the island may become a permanent fixture on the map a new home for life and a new territory for the planet. Scientists predict that if the current eruption rate continues, the island could reach a stable size of several square kilometers within the next year. This event is a stark reminder that we live on a living planet, one that is not finished being made. The geological history of this region dates back 500,000 years and it continues to surprise us with its indomitable energy. Each new island represents a potential future ecosystem, a blank canvas where life will eventually take hold through wind-borne seeds and oceanic currents. As this new land continues to rise from the depths of the Pacific, we will be here to track every tremor and every new acre of land. This is the raw force of nature that continuously shapes our planet. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces, and wish to continue learning about active volcanoes, earthquakes, and the Earth's most extraordinary phenomena, stay with us. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss the next update on this new continent rising in the deep. Our planet is changing right before our eyes. Don't miss a single moment of the creation.